We're here at the Sneakerella premiere. We're in New York City, as it should be. Give me the release, had to pull up early. Number 33 on the back of my jersey. We are currently on a rooftop in New York. There's a lot of fashion tonight. For me, I wanted a modern Cinderella vibes. All the colors that Cinderella has on, but just with a little bit of Lexi in it. They be like, what are those? Those shoes are sick. Sneakers is a massive theme in the movie. If you're anything of a sneakerhead, you're gonna love this movie. Sneaker culture is also a part of this kind of idea of being more than you are at the moment. How can you create yourself and identify yourself through what you wear? Fashion is living art. It's the one piece of art that you live in and follows you everywhere you go. My favorite shoe is the Air Force Ones. We have some customized ones right here with some silk laces, very cool touch. So this is the necklace that, um, it's the King Six logo. It's the, the logo of the film, so I wanted to make sure I I wore it proudly tonight. This is merch from King Six, which is the sneaker we're dropping in this movie. Well, my sneaker choice is Kente Cough, which is matched out of a wonderful tribe in Nigeria, part of BLM's line, and they were smart enough to make man size 15. Mine are a collab for Women's Day with Vans and Fumiko Imano, who is an artist out of Tokyo. I have an Air Jordan 1 Elevate. And um, yeah, just like keep it crisp, classic. I wore this because I get to play the evil stepfather. It's a nod to Kate Blanchett and her evil stepmother. And uh, we are wearing some Air Jordan 1, some retros. It's got a little gold just so we can step it up a notch for the carpet. I glad I slide, I fly with my kicks. You can tell a lot about me by the way I wear my kicks.